This video provides an introduction to agency theory for ACCA's paper P1, Governance, Risk and Ethics. If you find this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper P1 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Agency theory with regards to organisations is a group of concepts concerned with resolving the problems caused by the separation of ownership and control between the principals who are the shareholders and agents who are the directors. Problems caused by separation of ownership and control are conflicts of interest and attitudes to risk. The key terminology in agency theory is agents, principles, agency, agency costs, accountability, fiduciary responsibility and stakeholders. Agents and principles. An agent is employed by a principal to carry out a task on their behalf. Agency relationship is one which a principal engages an agent to perform a service on their behalf. This service involves the principal delegating some decision-making authority to the agent. Agents are accountable to the principal and the agent performs the necessary tasks on behalf of the principal. Agency refers to the relationship between a principal and an agent. Agency costs are costs incurred by the principal in monitoring an agent's behaviour. Costs can be incurred financially in terms of resources consumed or in time taken to monitor agents. Some examples of costs are remuneration or incentive schemes offered to directors, the cost of producing and reviewing management reports for shareholders, audit costs used to monitor management's behaviour, the cost of accepting higher risk than the shareholder would like with regards to the operating of the company by the directors. And residual loss. Residual loss is an agency cost which relates to the cost of directors furnishing themselves with benefits over and above their remuneration package. For example, a director using company cars and so forth. These are direct costs to the principal. Accountability. The agent, by accepting to undertake a task on behalf of the principal, becomes accountable to the principal for their actions with regards to the tasks they were employed to do. Fiduciary responsibilities Describes the relationship between an agent and a principal. Fiduciary responsibility is the duty to act solely in another party's interest where the agent has been trusted to manage and protect the company for a principal. The agent has the responsibility to carry out his or her role in the best interest of the principal. Stakeholders are any persons or groups who can affect or be affected by the policies or activities of a company. If you found this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper P1 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel.